guys, so today I just wanted to show you how to make spaghetti squash. A couple of you have requested this video, so I'm going to go ahead and make it, and then I can show you a bunch of other recipes with spaghetti squash, but this is strictly how to make spaghetti squash. So you're going to want to buy a spaghetti squash, and right now I have two. This one's a little bit more yellow. You just want to make sure that there isn't any... Uh, soft spots on the squash. It doesn't matter if it's yellow or if it's white. If it's spaghetti squash, that's fine. See, this is definitely a lot more yellow. This one, I think, is almost going bad. So this is going to be the one I'm going to cook first. You're going to need a sharp knife, some tin foil, a baking sheet, some salt and pepper, and some olive oil. You're going to want to cut this in half, and it is really hard to cut through, and it doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but you want to try to get it in half. Next, you're going to want to scoop out the inside like you're scooping a pumpkin. You're going to want to preheat your oven to 400. Get your baking sheet all ready, and then you're going to want to flip these over, and you're going to want to stab a couple holes into them. You're going to want to take some olive oil and you're just going to want to drizzle it on the inside and I just use my cap to measure, probably like a teaspoon. And then next you're going to want to put some pepper. Uh, you're going to want to put more on after it's done so this part isn't too important. And a tiny bit of salt and then you're going to want to flip them over. I always check them at 25 to make sure that they're not overcooked and then if they're undercooked I just put them back in 25 to 35 minutes is roughly how long it'll take to cook. Alright so this is checking the squash at 25 minutes. I would say it's almost done. It's really cooked right in here but this side you want it to be able to be stringy really easy. So I'm going to put it in 5 more minutes but I'm actually going to have it upright this time. And there's really no reason that I want it to be upright. Some people cook it upright, some people cook it the other way. Uh, I've just found that the past, this is what's worked for me. This is after five more minutes, so it's now been 30 minutes. I'm gonna let your squash cool down for a couple minutes so that it doesn't burn your hands while you're scooping it. And then you just wanna use your fork and just pull out all of the strings. So spaghetti squash isn't that flavorful, so you might want to add a little bit more olive oil and some salt and pepper or any kind of seasoning. I'm going to add some more pepper, and I'm actually making spaghetti sauce with this, so I'm going to add a little bit of chopped garlic. So for the purpose of this video, I tried to overcook it, but it's just not having it. If you put your squash on a plate and a bunch of water piles underneath it, that means it's overcooked. So then the next time you just want to watch for that and cook it for a little bit less time. Uh, I've tried putting it in the oven for longer and even microwaving it and it just really doesn't want to overcook for me today. So if there's extra water, it's overcooked, it still tastes good. I almost prefer overcooked squash, there's less texture to it. But if you overcook it, I would recommend putting it into a strainer and having all of the water strain out so then it's not mixing with your sauce and then it'll taste pretty much the exact same. And then it's done. A mummy kit for the forgetful moments when you're on the go. Hair ties for when the girls need the attention and your hair isn't looking 100%. hair ties. So in this cute little bag there is hand lotion, 